If you're following Depp and Heard and events around them, you must know Johnny's got a lawyer named Adam Waldman. And also, there's this person named Nick Wallace who's been covering the case for a very long time. But the problem is, Nick gets things wrong. More specifically, what I'm talking about now is things about Adam Waldman. A few days ago, Adam called him out on Twitter, but didn't get into much detail. And now Adam calls Nick out again, but shows a few things that Nick gets wrong. One of the things is pretty surprising. He gets wrong where Johnny met Adam Waldman. Now, my problem here is, how could you ever actually publish something like that if you don't know for sure? I mean, even if you saw them actually meet in person and they said nice to meet you and things like that, they might have just been saying that in front of the people they're with. Maybe they knew each other all along. You don't actually know for a fact to print that. So Adam says, quote, nothing in the book is false, asserts the author confidently. Here are three false statements in one single paragraph. He even got my Bloom and Mandel 6147 cases mixed up. So Nick, the great journalist who knows so much about Johnny and Amber and Johnny's lawyers, gets some basic stuff mixed up. Adam also quotes the family guy. I know it hurts now, but look on the bright side. You know, oop, your book. All right. Not a big fan of the family guy, but I'll take it. So Adam points this out. Nick tweeted this out from his account. Nothing in the book is false. Buy it, read it, or if you want, DM me, and I'll get my publishers to send you a free copy. Then you could tell the world what you think that at least is fair. Maybe I'll try that. So here's from the book. And by the way, Nick doesn't seem to like the real Laura B., that umbrella guy, or incredibly average, also known as that Brian fella on Twitter. He calls them internet journalists, which pretty much most journalists are these days. He says that Adam Waldman built alliances with fans. As you could see on Twitter, Adam's only following two people. He's not really the gossip guy. So I think that might be speculation on Nick's part. But here's the important thing. Walman was introduced to Depp at a dinner hosted by Ed White, the man who now manages all Depp's financial affairs. He had been recommended to Depp by a lawyer in the UK. Depp was in dispute with his personal attorney, Jake Bloom, and was looking to hire a fresh face from outside Hollywood. Walman wasted no time in becoming one of Depp's trusted lieutenants. But here, from The Hollywood Reporter, sources say... Depp met Waldman through Saudi Arabian prince Abduzi bin Salman, the country's powerful minister of energy, in summer 2016. So, there you have it. Looks like Nick's not getting that right, is he? And Adam offers up some information about Edward White here. And of course, Adam's getting some support from the Johnny fans and the Johnny crowd. And the ghost guy says, he or again Adam, insisting in this insignificant detail called the truth, which is sarcasm, obviously, and ghost points out this. Allowing the trial to go out unmediated on TV whilst refusing to give sensible access to journalists cleared the way for YouTubers and TikTok influencers to shape the public discourse. The judge did not seem to recognize or maybe care how journalism can play a role in responsibly communicating court proceedings to a worldwide audience. Well, wait a minute. I thought the case was live streamed and we were able to hear everything for ourselves so we didn't need a third party media telling us what we're seeing or what we should think. Or... Maybe that makes too much sense. This looks like the back cover to me, and it claims that Nick Wallace has reconstructed the case because what we saw was all wrong. We got it wrong. This is kind of like the current thing narrative. Don't trust your own eyes. Sounds familiar. I think I know what side these people are on, but I digress. And of course, the support goes down and down and down, although the tweet is pretty new. Right now, I think it's only been up for like an hour. Here's Adam's account. Like I was saying, he's not a big socialite. He only follows two people, Substack and the Dalai Lama. 
not very gossipy. I'm on Twitter also. I'm four followers away from 3,000. If you're on Twitter, maybe hit me up. Give me a follow. I'll break 3,000. It's been a long time, but I'll probably dip back under it when I do. But might as well see that 3,000 for once. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'll be pretty sad about it. But if you do subscribe, you'll get new videos, and I'll see you next time.